Hi everybody, welcome back to Borderlands 2. My name is Mikey Dubs, and today's Roguelands video, we are going to be trying something brand new. We're going to be doing third person. I was watching a Joel's 2 video the other day, and I saw his mods folder, and it was open, and I saw a toggle third person mode, which was something that I've been looking to do um, for my own channel, just to see if I could have fun with it. And I, I went on the SDK Python mod database, and I got, I think I found what I'm looking for here, and I'll see if I can activate it for you guys. Okay, there you go. So I can toggle third person to first person as much as I want. And the reason I chose Salvador for this is because I noticed that when I aim down sight, my crosshairs, they, they go away. It's, it's kind of strange how that works. I haven't seen how it works with all weapon types. The sniper rifle seem to be okay. Uh, this, this launcher seems to be, just seems to be fine. So I guess it really does depend on the optic, but I figured if I'm going to be shooting hip fire anyway, uh, a great character to do that on is Salvador. So we are running base Salvador. Uh, no randomized skills. I kind of wanted to have a nice, you know, simple experience and I didn't want to... You know, I die too much. Um, and Jolt's dude, he goes this right side skill first. He goes right side skill tree. I mean, that. I think that is... I don't know. I, I'm not sure if it's reportable or, or what. But I think, I, I do think that it could definitely use some work. He is apparently a god at this game. Talks about how he's beaten it without mox weapons a whole bunch of times in a row. Like, whatever, bro. Like, what if what if third person becomes my new favorite way to play? I mean, I will say, I am a fan of the third person shooter. Now, one thing I am noticing is it's kind of hard to see my loot on the ground. That's okay. We'll get it all in, in, in our inventory. And then read up on what we got. All right, so we got a Torg launcher. We have a wild cannon assault rifle that I'm probably going to swap out. Two weapons that just hold down the trigger is really going to be, I think, the ticket for me. I didn't get that many good options, but hey, it is what it is. Yeah, we have an amp shield. Not really what we're looking for. A loud merv with a 3.0 second fuse time. But it does about as much damage as two Jacob sniper shots. A grenade that hits so and uh, if, a, if an enemy takes everything here it's like they take 14 shots from a jacob sniper no eight nine yeah, eight thousand it's hard to do the math it is what it is okay we got a hoarder class mod. all right let's roll <laughs> this looks so sick i'm not gonna lie to you this looks really sick all right, so it looks like maybe going to every zone I have to do it. Which, you know what? If that's the price we pay, that's the price we pay. Open up. Oh, looting's going to be so hard, especially certain certain guns. I go right at him. Take no prisoners here. Aim for the head. Oh my gosh, I'm a beast. Is this just to toss a grenade? It's, we're not going to have the same visual indicators when it comes to the guns zerking here. Don't take my stuff. I get, I get upset when you do that. Should have left him at 1 HP, but you know what? We clear it. Oh, that's probably why we're doing no damage. Is my my pistol is a dull pistol. Oh, get wrecked though. Who needs who needs crosshairs? Honestly, don't take my stuff. No, no, no. Get some distance. These guys are take, taking my things. I don't, I'm not a big fan of that. This guy might actually kill me. Don't do it. Okay, I go down, but I'm definitely not out. Looks like down's always first person. Absolutely fine. Absolutely fine. No need to panic. No need to panic. We are so back. Literally so back. That's the great that's the craziest part about it. Okay, we use a little bit of first person here. Go right back into the third. Like it never happened. Shock damage. Perfect. Okay, you get away from my stuff. Don't like that at all. Okay, so we need something that is fully automatic if we can. Something to pair with this. Oh, there's a nice quad, though. With a magic. Oh my gosh, get jump scared. Oh my. I did not like that. Whatever you just did, did not like that. Oh, that's crazy. Ouch. Okay, okay, yep, yep. I knew this was going to hurt. That's fine. Our launcher is not reloaded. Do you remember that? Don't go down again. Hopefully. There we go. 
Dude, that that third person is is something else. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to keep it rolling. We're, we're gonna have to play with it. But looting is definitely looting is definitely something. I I think I might change my my keybind to something a little bit more easier to hit. I can't. I want to stay true to the third person mode. But looting is certainly challenging i would say i would say give me that bandit smg just just give me something something i can pair with this one that's this says it's that just says we're gonna fire here we go you bandit smgs couldn't be happier need something corrosive as well let's roll dude the way this the movement is sick that's why i want to definitely have it out when i'm looting around you know but at this point it is what it is. I can honestly just use this for a full heal. Or wait to use it next round. Let's greet it. Alright, let's roll. This time I got fire and shock. So whether you got health or you got shields, I got something for you. Getting the right elemental matching is sick. Is that what I think it is? Holy Becca. An unbelievable weapon. Multi pellet Jacob's assault rifle. Well, do you know what that means? It's tough. How does the how do the sights look on it? The sights are not that great, but this thing I'm definitely gonna want to use it. It's it's I would say it's a good Option one out of Gunzerk for sure. And it's an, an even it's a really good option in Gunzerk too. I should probably keep it on. With something to shred shields. I think that'll be fine. And it doesn't eat that much ammo, that's the craziest part about it. It doesn't even use that much. And how's the hit fire accuracy on it? If I accuracy could use some work, definitely. It's hitting it's hitting these chests is the hardest part. There we go. I think that booster shield does a little bit more for me. I don't really want the amp as much. Is a transfusion grenade? It's an overkill bandit. I could do like a, a short range short range close range or short range long range combo. But like I fire the right gun and then I fire the left gun. I just think you're crazy if you go right side tree first. Maybe in, in Roguelands proper it's right side tree first. In Roguelands mini, I don't think so. Okay, so I think I got my my secondary weapon of the future here. That's gonna give me crit damage, correct? Oh, it doesn't. That's okay. What does guns working like these two weapons look like? Realistically, not that terrible. Yeah, let's see. Rubberized slab transfusion? I'll take that. Rubberized gets slept on. Okay, and we got singularity as well. Okay, we can roll. Stage one, complete. Let's go right back into third person, making sure I'm ready. Just don't crash. Don't crash and we can be friends. All right. Let's see. Explosive shield, Nova shield, Nova shield, and a sticky lobbed incendiary transfusion. I think for this zone in particular, I'd kind of want to, I'd rather have the, the incendiary transfusion. I've been watching more and more, and I think... I honestly think incendiary transfusions have a little bit of that gusto. That back guy is doing crazy things for me now. Hit fire could use a little bit of work. But when you hit, when you hit at the right range, see that pellet spread? Watch. See the split? It's pretty sick. 
you want to make sure you're hitting everything. Oh, yeah. Make sure we get... Also use slag here. Here we go. Let's keep looting. I kind of like the third person mode, honestly. Is that a horror show? I'm going to guess it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how does it compare to my other one? Less damage, but better accuracy is big. Everything else is better on it. And does it give me crit damage? It does not. Okay. Snipers seem to function just like normal. Oh, that's a tubby. Oh, no. It's just, it's just a procreator. Where are my pellets going? I'm not so sure. I hope my pellets aren't broken. Let's unequip this Becca and re-equip it. Something's going on. It's just like not firing my bullets at all. Come on. Fix yourself. Fix yourself. There, I took some damage. Is that going to do it? Is it still eating ammo? I, I really can't tell what's going on with it. Let's go into first person mode. Did that work. That's working. Back in the third person. Hmm, I'm not totally sure what's going on. Because, like, you would you would expect a Becca at this range to do a lot more damage than that right there. Yeah, and it does. It's just the third person is currently bugged. Correct? Is it back? Oh, are we still back? Hmm. It is interesting. Here, even with multiple pellets. Okay, whatever. Let's go back in the first person. Use our power up while we can. Pow, pow. And we get never punished. Green power up. Let's go, baby. Take a mean diab. Now, I would very much like it if my guns are could get uh, fixed here. That's working as as intended. If I go into third person, is it still working as intended? And is it just that's that's functional right there? I was wondering what's going on. That's it. Assault rifle damage, no, SMG damage, and what is this one? Melee damage. Okay, a few stats I'm probably not gonna end up using. I'm wasting my whole gun zerk, but that's fine. Eventually we'll get a class mod that gives us better cooldown. Ooh, that's very small. I mean, basically impossible to read for me. It's gu I guarantee it's going to be really hard for you guys to read too. Alright, you know what I might do? I might put the third person button. Mods. No, keyboard and mouse. Modded keybinds third person button on my mouse I think that might work out because then I can swap in and out on a dime and check my loot a lot of just to train rifles is this, is this a jeez just a Jacob's party over here. None of them even look that good. Compared to, I mean, I do have a back though. But you know what I'm saying. Right, let's go third person. And the Becca bullets just go absolutely flying to outer space. I wonder what causes it. This is a little bit strange now. Does it happen to all the guns? Oh my gosh, and I'm getting... And I'm getting caravan leader stuff happening. Not too sure what's going on. Give a couple incendiary bombs go out. It's just sad that I can't trust my Becca. That's the only thing I'm sad about. I mean, we're, we're still we're still pushing through. If, if the first... If the third person doesn't end up working, then we can always just turn this into a... Or if third person doesn't end up working, we can always turn this into a first person run. Not over it. Not against it. 
Okay, so let's go steady as she goes, and then I'm ready already. Mm, reload speed max size sounds nice. Health regen, gun search, shield capacity, my, but it's minus shield capacity. Okay. Let's ride. I'm really hoping that this, this Beko can maintain accuracy even, even after getting hit, because that seems to be when it happens, I think. No, it's just, it's just broken off the rip. I don't think anything else has been so far. Is it time to just put away the Becca? Might be. Let's try the double SMG build again. Double SMG me. I guess we'll do it with this convergence. Even though I don't want it now. Because it gets debuffed with that with that skill I took. Where did my bandit... I had a bandit shock SMG. There it is. And now we go shock damage or just SMG gun damage. Let's do SMG gain damage. Well, they're both shock, though. Let's go shock damage. Sorry to the Becca. I, I mean, it can be still useful in, in, a, in my time of need, but right now, let's just go with this. Double shock SMGs. I'm really hoping they're shooting the right way. Doesn't look like they are. Like, as you take damage, the... Really can't tell, honestly. Yeah, because I'm not shooting any bullets right there. None. Zero. I think I did end up seeing that. Um... Oh, maybe the Becca is what we need. Oh, man. Yeah, as you take damage, it looks like the. The weapon just goes all out of whack. It's crazy. But as you can see, when I'm actually in first person, this thing can, can shred these enemies. But hey, we tried it out. I don't think we should let a good run go to waste here. Not when we have this chance. Yeah, I mean, we, we, gave, th we gave third person a shot, you know. Well, let's just keep it rolling. If this is the point where we click off the video, I'm, look, I totally get that. Let's just keep this run moving. You get, get, drop it, getting an early Becca drop is a sign. You don't just let that go to waste. Go. And okay, we got to roll. I have SMG gun damage currently on, or shock damage, I'm pretty sure. As a relic, so I need to clean up my inventory a little bit, but we can we can start getting focused now. Let's go full try hard. And get to the finish. So I'm already I have one win right now. I got a win on randomized gauge. Now this would be uh, technically it's not a randomized, it went back. I want to consider it in the gauntlet. But I have one win in, right now in a row. Okay. Gateway, this is win streak central. Adaptive shield makes a ton of sense. We are playing Sal after all. More melee damage? No thanks. Did I get an, a relic that is this good for everyone all the time? Just this one. Slag and explosive resist. Let's just do that then. It's, if it's the only one that gives us something. If it's the only thing that gives us a little bit of something, then we might as well take it. Let's see. Pistol damage, shock resist... The pistol damage one is going to matter. So I've got a pistol right here. So at least it's a non-zero difference. And the shock resistance is nice too, don't get me wrong. I think I'd rather just get the pistol damage and roll. Okay, that's our first... That's our first Berserker class mod, which is what we're looking for. Because right now we want some more points in Nipikaye. And Slay Waste over here. Hmm. That's tough. Okay, yippee ki -yay. Get our guns are lasting even longer now. We want that short cooldown. That's what we're working towards, that short cooldown. 
All right, let's see. I need a good offhand weapon. I think an anarchist is a good primary weapon. Like, it's, it's like... I would say this Garna Anarchist, this times two Garna Anarchist, might be better in a lot of situations than that Becca. Nothing against the Becca. It's just the way it is, I think, right now. Especially with my shock damage relic. This thing looks like it would go to the moon. I think it might. And what would be even better if it could go to the moon against, like, Pyro Pete and such. Alright, we can roll. Now, what's nice about having base Salvador is that you can get a whole bunch of money shot. Okay, let's try the third person one more time here. Okay. Let's roll. Bring it on. Shoot that tire. Feeling snappy. Feeling strong. Come on now. Push me through. Push me through. Going down is an option. Not a really good option in this instance. Anarchist is not going to get you there, brother. You gotta swap. The swapping is winning here. Let's just make sure that our launcher reloaded before we move on. I could do the drop reload tech, but I'm not gonna. I lost, looks like I lost my, how, how do you survive something like this? I survive a double lunatic bomber. Well, one of them's not a lunatic bomber. Get that straight. Ooh, dodged it, dodged it, nice. Yeah, let's go. Third person mode, Gunzerker. Oh yeah, rinse him. Go. Go. Don't get the crosshairs messed up. Don't take damage. Don't take melee damage, maybe? Maybe that's a secret? I'm not so sure. Get him. Yes. Oh, what's happening? This is for the fans. This is the people that wanted that third person tech. See you later. You wanted some more. That's the crazy part. You wanted even more. Not so bad, huh? Not so bad. Pretty clean assassin wreath kill. I'm saying before he goes down. Okay. Let's go. I think it might be as long as I don't take melee damage. The knockback. I think the, it's the knockback that might cancel it off. So if I look right now. My shots are going. My shots are all going inside that circle. Oh, look. A hot mama. All right, let's go five points into this this one right here. Last longer any PKA. That's the wrong one. Yeah. And we're going to go get some. I don't get capstone. Yeah, that's that's sad sad news. I like that. I like that model one pistol for my slot one. I do. Let's shoot this last. Let's shoot this last uh, tire over here, so they get access to my better loot. Look at that. Very interesting. If I aim way far to the one side. It fixes itself. What if I do a swap? Does it fix itself then? That's pretty off. No, that looks about right. Tough to know. All right, where's my big tire? Mr. Big Tire. Oh, I already shot it. <laughs> let's see. Let's go back into first person mode so I can actually see what's going on. Lob slag transfusion. That's not. Sticky homing slag bouncing Betty. It's really good for slagging. Let's take that lab slide transfusion and roll. This the slide transfusion isn't bad. Okay, we have a boss here that 
can be a little tricky. Is it worth a money a money shot respec? Depends how much this bad boy does. Let's, let's hope a lot. And do I have someone that can get some bonus crit going? Like a Diab or something? Bonus crit. Bonus crit. I don't see any. That's okay. Yeah, I don't see it. Looking for any of these side bonuses that give me bonus crit. This overkill does. This overkill does. There we go. And now slag is not really a thing on this boss, so I'm not I'm not too concerned about it. This should do good damage. It is a hot mamba after all. Let's roll. It's bladed. I'm not too sure if that's really a good indicator of what's to come here, but... We can try some slag here. Ow. Not bad. Not bad crit damage right there. Oh, yeah. Right to the gullet. You don't like that, do you? Do, do. Let's go. We play this one for the music. Like, even though the boss is kind of heinous sometimes, it's just a fun... It's a... Well, I should just be shooting my shotgun as well. Mine is, there's no reason not to be. You don't mind this boss fight because of the music. Which way is it going? That way? I'm this way, then. Still hit me? I wish I had insight. Hmm. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Maybe some maybe some kills for uh, Yuppie Kaye. Later, kid. Uh-oh. Transfusion time. And then change direction at the last second. I still get hit. Transfusions, come find me. Come find me. Thank you. Oh, we got it. Oh, yes. To the face. And I, I'm, I'm right back at... Wait, I, I'm right back there. Right where, where I left off. Lying at perfect shots all for days. Yes. Down goes the snowman. Oh, that's so easy nowadays. It's so easy nowadays. Better kid. Like, he was never even there, to be honest with you. Like, he didn't even exist. Kind of dark, too. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, he kind of did to just go back into the earth. All right, let's roll. Um, Maloko, I don't think we can af afford to escape this bandit sh uh, launcher, though. I mean, come on, look at it. And let's let's ride the capstone and some insight. Maybe right side tree is the way, and I just never knew it. So unfortunately, it looks like the third person mode. As much as I want to run it, oh, sloth, a cobra, a roaster. Okay, that 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 shock pimpernel is like absolutely calling my name. I think we have options. I think we got options. The Cobra is such a nice sniper rifle to use. I think the third person arc might be a little dead just because of the accuracy debuff that you take. This is kind of ridiculous. Okay, I think we. I don't think we can afford to ignore the facts on the ground. That this Bada Boom is probably one of the best snipers in the entire game. For me at this point, it's sniper rifle ammo. Also, for anyone that's that's wondering if I still know about this after Jolt's video, yes, I know about it. And let's see, assault rifle. There you go. Grenage, and the only thing we can't afford is launcher, and we roll. No B shield, which would have made this a lot easier, but let's see what we get. 
decent, decent for me. Not afraid of this fight at all. In fact, the Epikaye is going to go off here. Now, it's going to be a question of what we want to rock for our primary weapon. I think the Anarchist still might come out on top here. Let's go to it. And make sure shock damage is on. Get some pistol damage off rip here. And let's roll. Alright, it's gonna be it's, a lot of this is gonna be about how successfully I can land crits. So let's give it a shot. Here we go, there's one arm gone. That's really not bad at all. Talking boss damage. I didn't invest in pistols though, which I really should have thinking about it. You're rolling. Okay. What's one here at a time? I really want to have a secondary option. I think the Becca might just be that. This gives me something to shoot. When I don't want to use up my pistol ammo. That's definitely going to evolve. I should have just... I should have just bit the bullet and... Used a, uh, a bada boom shot there. Alright, let's go. Hit that crit spot. We're all over it. I have guns are available to me as soon as I'm off out of cooldown now. That's really not bad damage whatsoever. Now it's all about uh, ammo regen. All about ammo regen. And I have a hoarder. Yeah. I have a hoarder class mod, so let's just put that bad Larry on. There you go. And that's gonna juice up my <laughs> that's definitely gonna juice up my bullet regen. Okay. Very much liking that. Okay. After one heal phase, his health isn't really back up to where it, where it was, so honestly we're fine. Even with this extra juice, even with this extra ammo, we're still not making it with this hoarder. Anarchist is ripping through too much. More pistol ammo, please. Okay. Yeah, wow. Even, I'm even shooting through the hoarder. Oh, here we go. There's some ammo. Having a way to keep... To keep slag going on this lad is actually kind of insane. Let's go right back into it. Okay, he's got one more heal phase and then we're good. This yeah, we're we're definitely popping off now with these pistols. But the hoarder is a must. An absolute must right now. We had the we have the shock anarchist like that's an option for us. We don't have to be ashamed for leaning into our number one options. There we go. Is he back? Yes, he is. You bring death and destruction upon your people. Oh, this guy wants to he wants to be a savior. Ain't gonna work, pal. Ain't gonna work, buddy. Honestly, what I should do is stop using this for slag. You know, that would make a lot of sense. And actually allow me to regen some ammo. Do I have anything else for slag? Sure. Let's just use a sniper. Okay. Yeah, times two anarchists. I forget that it really is a times two anarchist. But look at, I need to swap these weapons though, because I think the uh, order only applies to the weapon in the right hand. 
I want to have it on the right hand. Could be wrong about that. There we go. Now we can really ramp, keep the, the damage ramped up. And our tankiness just comes from... Comes from Gunzerk. It's just crazy. Okay. Crowd goes down. Happy about that. Good, good first... Good first tier, honestly. Honestly. Godfinger... I think that you can pass the Godfinger trait over to other weapons, which means like the further you are away, the more damage you deal. I'm not too sure that's even true, let alone if it's effective. And we can hop into third person here for a second just to show for more time as I'm running around the loot piles hoping for something that isn't there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Realistically, I don't think tier 2 has much for us. It is getting warm in my room, though, right now. It's, it's, it's heating up, Central New York. It is heating up. This is good and a bad thing. I went out for Father's Day the other day, this, this past weekend, and... Got a little sunburn, but it was nice. It was good. Kind of like the feeling. Is it, it's kind of weird, but yeah. Not when I, not when it's too much of a burn. Too much of a burn is, is is horrible and terrible. But that nice mid-level burn is pretty sick. Hmm. No. I'm not gonna use the Slayer Terror Morphus. Okay, how about a Vengeful Raider? We are going to get Money Shot here. I think it's, it's probably worth investing into at this point. For Tier 2, because enemies in Tier 2 are kind of ridiculous. So I'm probably going to want to have Money Shot, if nothing else. Okay, very nice. I kind of have my SDUs all over the place, but I do have one for Sniper. I do have one for Sniper, which is nice. Alright, let's roll. Okay, let's roll. What do we got up there? Nothing yet. <laughs> I was gonna say, I might even want some gubs at this point in the run, but... I think I'll be going without. Um, Lay Waste and EPKA could be good, but you know what? We probably want to go... I'm going to go this one with Insight and Money Shot. And it's Assault Rifle Accuracy plus 50%, which I can make use of with the Becca. Right. If I can make use of the, if I can make use of that, that sorry for accuracy, it, it's even better than it already is. Right. Let's go it. And for my secondary, I mean, a sloth could be interesting, but it's dull. Maybe it's just a, a simple troublemaker, and then it's about all I want. But a respec is definitely in order here as well. So I want to get to money shots. The first thing I'm going to get to. Locked and loaded. Quick draw. Money shot. Now I'm going to start heading down the middle tree again with one point in insight. If I can get my guns Zerks back faster. Mm, what's the what's the magazine size on this bad boy? 22? I they have inconceivable. Last longer. Steady she goes. And five or six shots. All right, let's go. The guns work won't come up that that frequently, but that's okay. Our money shot Becca's should go crazy here, crazy. Hopefully, 
Or my shot Pekka should go crazy. There we go. Didn't even get to my money shot there. Didn't even need to. Extra assault rifle accuracy goes crazy. I want to get to more money shots though. This is what it is at this point. Yeah, like the, we almost want less inconceivable, but that means if we do get down to one bullet, we, our money shot change might go absolutely insane. There we go. Not bad. And we can also get more fire rate as we go. But 22 shots in the magazines right now is kind of a lot. Yeah, I've got too much in the way of not being able to get down the money shot. But this is what it is right now. Shoot the, shoot the weapon faster. You don't have to worry about it. Don't have to worry about it. I'm like, okay, I'll work on it. I'll work on my trigger finger a little bit. Keep it moving. I feel like whenever I do try to work my trigger finger, it ends up going to I end up just shooting slower. Yeah, not bad though. I should really be reloading less, that way I can make you some more money shots. There we go. That way when somebody pops up, I got a chance to one shot them with like money shot or something. Oh, does this thing actually only use one, one shot per shot? I can't even, no way to even get down to money shot. If, when I'm there, I definitely want to be making use of it. There we go. Very sick. I was hoping we'd be able to get the money shot more often, but honestly, this, this kill skill is... Hold me back. Let's go for auto loader, some gun zerk action, and then I don't want any more points in five or six shots. So I'd rather just go yippee As long as I can get my Becca to be as accurate as possible, because right now it's not that accurate. I'm still trying to lean on it. I'm still trying to make it work. And mouthwash is exactly the relic that I'm looking for. It's going to really ramp this up. This is proper Salvador. Two assault rifles. That's the way it should be done. Oh, I'm off the edge. It's only, it's only bobbing round two. So, or it's only stay tier two. I don't necessarily need to, need to get those options up there. I can live without them. And I think I will. Let's roll. Here we go to warm water. Shouldn't be that bad of a zone. But again, this is here too. We can dive fairly quickly here. What's that I just throw? What was that garbage I just threw? Let's take the Honestly, rubberized slag gets gets bad rap, but I think it's good. Please blow up on him. Should prove me right. No, don't, as long as you as long as you don't miss your tosses, boom. As long as you don't miss your tosses, it's actually really good. Trust. Okay, well, you're gonna miss your tosses a lot. Watch me. The Becca really does struggle from hip fire. I'm noticing quite quite heavily right now. Toss rubberized out. The goaded, it's it's the most goaded grenade. It's the rubberized grenade. Watch it, watch this jump this wall too. Boom. You can jump walls so easily. Oh, I'm sorry, you are you are you all the way back there? Let me just go ahead and uh you know jump this wall with my grenade. Look at that. It's got advantages, I'm telling you. Rubberized is kinda goaded. With sauce. I would I would even say with sauce at this point. All right, let's roll. Little Ravager action, Bandit Grip. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Maybe it was, maybe it would be. Okay, 
So that was as this is gonna be as probably as as good as it's gonna get for this this Becca as far as the build goes. For the, at least this character, because you're not gonna get a much more you know assault rifle centric build than what I've got right now. The Raider class mod, the mouthwash relic, if, and a Becca. The hope is that I can maybe you know. Who knows? Maybe Gunzerk less. Could that could that even be the answer? There's no way, right? There's no way that's the answer. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe just ignored Gunzerk. Like you just played a no Gunzerk run. That'd be kind of crazy. It's basically randomized, honestly. That's basically randomized. Skills. You basically play without guns, Eric, and you're just like a random Salvador just running around with no help and no friends. Look at this damage, though. Kind of ridiculous, now. Always throw rubberized grenades over any other grenade because they're the best. Shortest fuse times. If you can just aim, you're they're better. These guns are when I'm low on HP to heal back up. And I got I bought myself more time than I thought I would. Got me a grenade so I can prove the haters wrong. <clears throat> prove the haters wrong. I'm still living. Good. Easy round. Like they weren't even there. Okay. Mm. I would say... The reload speed is... I'm just I'm, I'm conserving too much ammo is my problem right now. I almost don't want inconceivable or five or six shots. Which would put me in a weird spot. This field of the brim was just as bad. So I guess we do take inconceivable. Drop five or six shots. It would still take me this long to get down the money shot. Okay. We can roll here. One more red chest and we can send it. There's a Borderland. The Vault Symbol up there, though, too, I want to grab. Grab it and don't let him fall off the edge. Got it. Ooh. Okay. Sick. And my two relics, I would say neither of these get, get the nod. Not, not the nod into the inventory. Not now. Not ever. To the folly. Okay, this boss has a chance to destroy us and make us wish we were never born. So let's go ahead and just maybe launch this 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 bad Larry down. What else do I got? Got one of those. You know what? There's no rule against it. Start with some slag. Start with some slag. He goes for his deflect early. That's good. Go for your deflect early. And then here's what we do. You can go ahead and just double launch him. Yep, you're gonna wish you hadn't done all that. And wish you hadn't done all that. Just, just, like, just like we drew it up. Just like we drew it up. This is a good touch. I mean, it's a left hand weapon that we don't have. Here we go. Get through the ammo. Oh, that money shot feels good though when you get there. Feels really good when you get there. There we go. This is the salmon right here, right? Yeah. Oh, no much have to end up killing him. Come on. Got him. And that's it. Let's roll. Okay, so... Based on what I'm seeing right now... Is the Becca able to get us there? Maybe. I think it definitely is going to do better against bosses than it is going to do against mobs for the accuracy factor. Let's go for lay waste and then keep it piping hot. Move out. A lot of stuff to pick up off the ground here, but I'm hoping to maybe I won't need it. Feel pretty strong right now. Actually. I could probably use a good touch 
instead of this. That way I have moxie healing. Which is always important. There we go. Not bad damage there. Go for crits. Go for money shots. I should probably be throwing uh, slag grenades out there. Oh, wow. I don't know what just happened, but I think we might have just gotten a money shot chain. This is not non elemental, by the way. This cannot be resisted. Pulse grenade out. My gun is basically already back, so we just use it right away. Get the free reload. Come on, lay waste. Get me there. Yes, come on. Oh, that's some shred right there. Ho, 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 ho. Got the Becca nice and lined up. Now we run it. To the face, to the face, to the face, face, face. That's all that matters. To the face. Maybe we want to get some kill skills up and running here. Get some crits. Crit damage, crit damage, thank you. I'm okay with this damage so far. One of those is a loot dragon. I kind of want to kill them. Yeah, this one right here. Destroy, destroy, destroy. What is that right there? Legendary Titan? I think that's my favorite for dragon fight. Personally. Okay, that's really big damage from the from the money shot in the right hand. Needs to get down to that money shot and don't miss it. Okay. Not bad. That's tier two. Everything but the raid boss down. Blackhead, we take. A ruby, that's, that's better healing than what we've got now, so we definitely take it. I think Flacker has really good synergy with this, with uh, with the, like a Torg launcher eventually if we get it. Let's we'll have a Ruby on instead. It has a higher healing percentage than the good than the good touch. So reroll that instead. Okay, and for five points before the raid boss, let's go. No kill, like over kill, keep it piping hot, and double grenades. Maybe a small bit of health, some small bit of health regeneration. Ooh, nice little hellfire on the ground as well. Okay, let's roll. I'm not completely committed on this to this Becca. It's it's not necessarily doing what I need to do. Most of that is my fault for not being able to get to the magazine fast enough. Let's get a couple box pulls. Never punished, by the way, for not opening up all the chests. Okay, what do we got here? Legendary Berserker. Take that one. That's a Laid Milla. Holy cow. I got I got sniper options out for, out out for days. Chain lightning. One more pull. Reward me. Legendary hoarder. Okay. So I can use anything now and get completely get away with it. Let's go for. Let's see what the boss is first, and then, and then see what weapons we want to take. Oh, let's roll. It might be anarchist again. Yeah, it's gonna be anarchist again. It's crazy to think about it. It's ridiculous to think about, but it is. We take the sheriff's badge. We probably want... I'm going to try the money shot one again. And let's go with our anarchist. We, we, can, we can use the... What's it called? Come on, get, get some slag on him. Okay, what kind of damage is that money shot doing? I think it's doing okay.
Did I, did I plan this out right? Yeah, I'm, I'm right here. Okay, we dodged that one. Easily. Now down to his regular HP bar. His helmet is now officially gone. I can land crits. Out of ammo. That's, that's, what, that's what I was afraid of. Let's go Legendary Hoarder. The 4.1. Get back into my guns, Eric. Oh, my. And if this can, if this can keep us topped off, I mean... I need to get in position here, for sure. Yep, good timing. Okay, let's roll. I'm trying to get land a crit headshot here for the last shot, but it's not working out for me. Maybe we do want some spider rants for some kill skills and some ammo, perhaps. Okay. That's one of these. We're getting a, most of our pistol ammo back now, which is nice. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by that dot. Yep, I did. Shoot. Ooh, okay. Hit him again. Not an easy boss, folks. Use that dot I need. It doesn't feel too good. Man, I should have gotten pistol on the wall. I had a chance. I don't want him to get a punch off on me. That's That'll spell doom. I do want to survive until the next big dot before I take that waterfall. Come on, go for another big dot. There we go. And now we take the waterfall from maximum uh, efficiency. Get one kill skill. There we go. We need to make sure we keep slagging. Going for that max max damage one shots, hopefully. But it's just it's not put it's not pushing it out enough. I don't think anything can get can do it faster than this anarchist is the problem. I don't think the Becca's gonna do it that quick. Yeah, I, I think my only option realistically is this anarchist. So we, could, we could try Becca. I just don't know if we're gonna be able to pull it off. Okay, let's go for a sorrowful gun damage. Ruby, let's something with some crit damage on it. Bayed Miller. Never, never doubt, ne never doubt the Lied Miller when it comes to this boss damage. I feel like though, not the Lied Miller, the Becca. Because look at this thing, absolutely shred down Pyro Pete. It does. It definitely feels like a cheat kind of weapon. Honestly, did they get a grenade? No. That's fine. I need to summon some spider ants anyway. I need to get my grenades back. One grenade, please. And I would like some slag. Oh, we're farming. Okay, we got a grenade. Reload me. Okay, easy days, easy days. Where's my slag on him? Thank you. And this should be it. This money shot right here. Oh, not quite. Might have, I'm not sure if I landed the crit on him or not. Get there. Yes! So easy. So easy. That's what it takes right there. Adapt, adjust, overcome. Let's go. It's like all you did was all you did was swap back to the more overpowered weapon. Yeah? <laughs> What's your point? Antagonist or punchy? Let's rock an antagonist. That'll be decent. Might let us get a little bit more aggressive with our grenade choice if everything's gonna be slagging when they hit us, but I don't necessarily want to give my enemies that advantage over me. The sticky longbone send your O negative, admittedly, is pretty tempting. But I don't have a way to slag right now in my left hand at all. 
So I'm going to have to find out a way to do it. You know, the best we can the best we can do is try. You know what I'm saying? The best we can do is try. All right, heading into tier three. Let's get our gub first off. <clears throat> this Becca definitely pumped out enough damage. I think it definitely has enough damage for the dragons. I seem that the supporting cast needs to come in. My offhand is still very much up for grabs as to what is going into the offhand. Dang, no double gub at all. Pick the fire right one. Anything good in here? Nope, let's roll. To opportunity. We have the opportunity to have an opportunity here. Let's roll. Melee damage? No. Okay, so right now, my weapon is Lyud Milla with Becca, which um, seems okay for now. I'm just worried about my overall accuracy and damage. When it comes to, you know, being able to shred different kinds of enemies, this is going to be pretty good. Downside is these that spinny boy just gave me the work with his deflection. But this is the first time I've, I've really gotten, I've really focused on a build that has a semi-automatic and an automatic. Um, so it's, this is an interesting uh, run for me. Sure. Go. We're going back up from that close. The Becca isn't as good, but that's okay. Eight out of ten. Back up a little bit to help the Becca out. And then all I have to do is destroy one of these these flying guys, and I'm good. Hi, so everybody. Uh, the run, the game got crashed, and I was shooting at that surveyor, and it ended a run. But I think I had a I had a pretty good time, and I wanted to throw up the video anyway. So thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit the like button, subscribe to see more videos like this one, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.